Hello. Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf good of Inglés Corporativo. Hey, good to see you, Andrea. Good to see you, JC. Okay, so my dear fellows, um, are you ready to start? Yes. Yes, you are. I figured. <laughs> okay, um, give me just a second. Sure. Tell me. Um, I have a cleanse for the platform. Uh huh. What's going on uh, with it? Yes, uh, I. I resolve uh, the medium term in, uh -huh. in, in the part three, the, when you, the, the answer WH question, in okay. number one, uh, uh, was wrong, because when I put the period in the final, the answer, At the the, end? The, the, in the end, uh, the platform to say wrong. Mm, okay. So with the period is wrong. Uh, no, when you put the period, the 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 platform to say the the answer is wrong. Okay, and that's um. We need a check. Will do. Thank you for letting in, me know, in, Jesse. In the part four and the number five, I mean, please check us because I try to resolve and uh, always wrong. Okay, so it's part four, exercise five, and the other yeah. one is part one, exercise? Part three, part three, uh -huh. exercise uh, one. Okay, got it. I'm gonna double check it. Now, um, mm -hmm. it's good that you bring that out, Juan Carlos. Whenever you have issues like, like, like those, text me personally and send the screenshots, please. Ah, okay. That way, uh -huh. but obviously with the screenshot, with screenshot be a specific like okay so this is the midterm part uh part two exercise mm -hmm. five um part of exercise number three so i can mm -hmm. see what you are doing and tell you if it's something that you have to fix on your end or it has to fix so i can identify where the problem is okay mm -hmm. all right thank you for letting me know i have it written down i'm going to double check it after the class Okay, guys, so Alison, thank you very much. Yesterday's topic, what did we cover yesterday? Yesterday, it was about... Mm -hmm. We talked about... Uh... We went about the... I use... Uh... A different the, the, word. <laughs> what? Different word, for example, suddenly, strangely, uh -huh. suddenly, surprisingly, unexpectedly. That's uh, right. About to return uh, any kinds of fruits and um, try to to reform money. Correct. So that's pretty much uh, about the tips related to return policies when shopping online. Remember that I went to El Bajemeso and I couldn't return anything because they didn't have a return policy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So, um, who can explain to me or who can tell me some tips about returning uh, policies? About the, the topic covered yesterday. Uh -huh. Andrea is the only one who's saved by the bell because she wasn't here, but JC was here, Allison was here, <laughs> so what's up? For example, you need to read the before to buy. Before buying. Well, before buying a product yeah. to uh -huh. read uh, a small letter of the policy's return. Mm -hmm and uh, try to buying in the in the online store with uh i don't know what you say reconocidas 
uh, known, well known. Well known, for example. Okay. Yep, that's a good tip. Um, something that I want to clarify, guys, is that whenever we use prepositions and it comes an action after it, we're going to use gerund. So, for example, antes de comprar is going to be before mm -hmm. buying. Okay? Because we have a preposition before, after, like in Spanish, right? A, ante, bajo, con, contra, de, desde, en, entre, hacia, hasta, para, por, según, sin, sobre, tras, and there are many more, right? So, every time we use prepositions before, after, <clears throat> right, we're going to be using ing. So, how do you say antes de estudiar? Before studying. Before studying. Uh -huh. Before studying. Después de comer. After, After eating. eating. Mm -hmm. That's right. Después de bañarse. Después de bañarse. After You're taking, taking a shower. The shower. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So make sure you keep these guys. This is one of the, the things that students make the most. Uh, the, 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 the biggest amount of mistakes. So my recommendation is this. Look for a list of prepositions online so you have a better idea which ones are followed by the gerund. Okay? So that's mandatory. Prepositions like in, on, right? For, it is very important. All right. So are you ready to start today's topic? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Very good. So let me go ahead and share it with you. Now, before we get into the material, we were talking about identity theft. We have talked about that for a couple of days. So how would you define identity theft? What is it? Come on, there's no right or wrong answer. Just let it out. Uh -huh. Anyone? It's when someone is steal your information and use it for anything, for good or bad things. Correct. That's right. This is when somebody steals your information. What kind of information can be stolen? Um, like uh -huh. your... ID number, your credit card number, your security financial policy. information. Mm -hmm. Your financial security. information. Your social security number. In the United States, social security number is one of the most precious pieces of information that you can have. So I think that nobody is going to ask you for the full digit. They normally, if they want to verify, they ask you for the last four digits of the social security number, just to make sure it's you. Okay, so that's very important to provide to uh, to prevent identity theft. Okay, so let's go ahead and cover something here. Welcome, Sarah, Eric. Let me see who else is here. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for being on time. So let's go ahead and watch a video. I have a video for you because very little people. So in the meantime, I'm going to give like two minutes. Any question about the midterm guys? Do you know when, when do you need to do it? Uh, not exactly when we have to indeed start. Well, study right now, but finished. What is mm -hmm. the deadline? Say that again, please. What is the deadline for the midterm? The midterm is recommended to be done this weekend. This weekend? Uh-huh. This weekend. So right after we finish, because this is the last topic of units one and two. Okay. After this, tomorrow we're going to have a review of the topics that are going to be covered in the midterm. I'm letting you know in advance so you're going to have time to have questions ready for tomorrow. And then Monday, we start with unit three. So by Monday, supposedly, I mean, it's recommended 
for you to finish the midterm. All right, so turkey face on that one. Okay. <laughs> okay. That, that doesn't exist, by the way. I'm just making it up. So, guys, let's start then. Read it with me, please. Building vocabulary. Building, Building vocabulary. vocabulary. Yeah. Um, articulation is very important. Vo. Vo. Bo. Not bo. 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 Different bo. things. V and B are different okay. things. Vo. Ca. Bulary. Vocabulary. 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 Uh -huh. Exactly. Vo, vo, vo. Vocabulary. Pero eso se llama la vida dental. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So, match the terms related to, to identity theft to recover. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <Take two. laughs> match. <laughs> match. <laughs> Damn it. Match the terms related to identity theft to the corresponding meanings. Go, please. Match the terms related to the corresponding meaning. Great, I need a volunteer, please. Me, Sarah. Go for it, girl. <laughs> Match the terms related to identity theft to the corresponding meaning. Meanings. Correct. Do it again, a little bit more fluent, more relaxed. Go. Okay. Match the terms re related to identity theft to the corresponding meanings. Nice. I like the I like the falling intonation at the end of it. So, guys, we're gonna be matching the terms and we're gonna do it together. Say it with me, please. Fraud. 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 Say it again, please. Fraud. 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 Uh huh. Now, Fraud. 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 Uh-huh. This one, I'm going to give you a tip, guys. It's not frad with A. It's not frud or frud with U. It's not fraud with O. It's like in between. Fraud. Oh, oh, fraud. 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 Very fraud. Good. So fraud. let's go ahead and analyze which one you think is the answer or the best definition for fraud. Criminal deception intended to result in an identity number of the fraud line occasion sustained. Is the third criminal deception intended to result in final seal? I don't I don't guess that I need glasses. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Yeah, I guess. I all right. Yes, I agree. Uh -huh, that, um, was, that was my next question. Do you guys agree on her? I agree. Okay, I agree. so we're going to have fraud as number one. Um, here. So let's go ahead and read with me, please. Criminal deception intended to result in financial or personal gain. Criminal, criminal deception, deception intended to result in a financial or personal gain. Personal gain. Financial. 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 financial or personal gain. Good. Remember the stress, right? We go here. Financial. 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 Uh -huh. Como que se pasaron un túmulo sin verlo. Financial. 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 <laughs> really violent. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, very good. Financial. Let's go. Financial. Oh, that's... How do you say tumulo in English? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I can't remember. Somebody said me. Somebody told week. me. Somebody told me this week. Uh -huh. I don't know, but in Colombia, told... Uh, Somebody said it already. Costado. <laughs> Policía Mount. Costado. In, in Nicaragua, too. Policía Costado. Uh -huh. Mount. Mm, Allison said no. it actually. Allison, say it again, please. <laughs> it's a bump. That's right. Bump. Bump. B U M P. Bump. P. Ah. Exactly. Bump. Now, bump. Also, when uh -huh. you have a chichote, you can call it a bump. I have a bump in my head because I hit my head with uh, mm -hmm. something. 
All right, so bump. Great. Bump. You see, and guys, mount, teacher? Mount, mount is, but it's not, it's not really tumulo. Bump uh -huh. is something that is on top, on a surface. Right? Okay. Como un montículo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, acuérdense de esto. Um, no importa cuál sea el tema, de una manera u otra sale vocabulario. Siempre. Sí. Right? So, no creo que haya clase para decir cómo se dice chichote. Así que tenemos que practicar, expresarnos para que las ideas vayan saliendo. Descubrimos qué es lo que necesitamos. So, let's go ahead and continue, guys. Next one, identity theft. Identity theft. Thank you, Sara. What about the rest of the group? Identity, identity theft. theft. Identity theft. Identity theft. It can be theft or theft. Doesn't matter. The or theft. Right? Identity theft or identity theft? Up to you. So let's go ahead and look for the definition of those of that one. Uh, the fraudulent acquisition and use of a person's private identity. Identify information. Financial gain. So you mean this one? Uh, the number five, yeah. The fifth. The fifth one. Uh -huh. Very fifth good. One. The fifth one or number five. Do you guys agree on that one? Yes, sir. Yes, I agree. Yes, I do. Do we have any objection? No, we, no, don't. we don't. All right, great. So let's go ahead and read it with me, please. The fraudulent. 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 Here. Fraud. 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 Fraudulent. Fraudulent. Acquisition. 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 And use of a person's private identifying information for financial. Give me a second. For financial gain. Go. And use of person's private information for financial gain. Okay, <laughs> sorry, I'm back. I had to do something. Okay, I need a volunteer to read that, please. Just one. Hey, Eric. Go ahead. Hey, Eric. Roxana. Okay, Eric and next one, Roxana. Go ahead, Eric. The fraudulent acquisition and use of a person's private identified information for financial gain. Thank you very much. Now, let's look for the next one so Roxana can repeat. Next one is going to be two-factor authentication. Yeah, if you're so kind, you can repeat after me if you're... Oh, okay. oh okay. <laughs> two-factor authentication. Two -factor authentication. <laughs> Shen, 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 by a bank or, a, or other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Do you guys I think agree? The first one, the first one. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got the fourth and the first. No. It's the first one. Yeah, the first one. Yes, it's the first one. Uh, physical token. Uh -huh. Okay, do we have any, any objections for number one? Nope. No, we don't. <clears throat> All right, let's no. do it here. Please repeat after me. It is an extra layer of security. It is an extra, extra, layer, extra, layer, extra layer, layer of security. security. Requiring not only a password and username. Requiring not only a password and username. username. But also. But, but also, also. A piece of information. 
a piece of information, information on the user, on the user, the user, the user such as a physical token. Such as a physical token. 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 That's right. Now let's go ahead and do it one more time. It is an extra layer of security requiring not only a password and username, but also a piece of information on the user such as a physical token. Go guys. It is an additional Good. This one, guys, piece of V, of V. Remember that the F and the V have the same mouth position. So it has to vibrate a little bit. Piece of V information. Piece of the information. Piece of information. Piece of information. Piece of information. Piece of information. Go ahead, Roxana. Do the honors, please. Okay. It is an extra layer of. Not only a password and username, but also a piece of physical token. Okay. Great. Liked it. I didn't hear a part because of the internet, I think, but... It's my internet. Sorry. Guys, supposedly there was going to be a solar storm today or something like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. That was going to I be affecting. I don't know, but yeah. it's affected. Yeah, internet is it's not really working well. I have had issues in other classes too, so okay. I understand. But I had problem. Yeah, I had issues yesterday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yes. I reported it. I reported it because we saw you here. Okay, so guys, um, next one, credit report. <clears throat> credit report. Number six. Four. Number six. Do all of you agree? Me, number six. Yes. Maybe number two. Hmm. No, I agree. Oh, I get no, no, no. Six. no, no. It's number number six. It's number six. Yeah. Number six. Number six. Yes. Number six. Any objections? No. No. Nope. No. All right. Democracy then. There we go. So let's go ahead and read it with me, please. It is a statement. It is, it a, is statement. a statement. That has information. That yeah. has information yeah. mm -hmm. about credit activity. About credit activity. Credit activity. Credit activity. Credit activity. And current credit situation. And current credit situation. Good. There are a couple of things that I want to point out here, guys, is that this one. This one, this one, and this one. Now, in English, we have something called held sounds. I have actually mentioned this to you, sonidos sostenidos, right? So when you say this, you are not going to release it. So you do not say, it is a statement that. So you don't let it go, but you don't, it's not actually a link. So you're going to hold the sound and you're going to let it drop in the other word. For example, you go, it is a statement, con la N, terminamos con la N, that. Right? It is a statement that. Statement that. Mm -hmm. Everybody, it is a statement that. It is a statement, 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 statement that. that. Mm -hmm. About, about, no está fallando la internet, ahí tenemos que pausar. About credit report. About credit. About okay. credit. About credit. 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 Mm -hmm. So again, we hold the sound about credit. About, about credit. credit. Oh. Current. Now, don't get me wrong. No es que no van a poner la, la, la boca en la posición de la T, sino que no la van a explotar. Right? No vamos a decir current. Sino que current, subimos la lengua. Current. Current. Y la soltamos al caer en la C. Current. 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 Current.
Current credit situation. Current credit situation. Current credit situation. Current credit situation. Correct. Now let's go ahead and do it one more time. It is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. Go. It is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. Good. Volunteer, please. Me, Morena. Go ahead, Morena. It is a statement that has information about credit activity and current credit situation. Yes, I liked it. You, you released it here about credit, but the rest it was excellent. Great job. Now let's go with PIN, guys. It's, uh, it's the fourth. Yeah, it's the fourth. An identifying number. An identifying number allocated to individual by a bank or other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Great, nice. And by default, no es par de, por de favor, <laughs> como decimos en, en español. <laughs> by default, es Fraudler. Fraudler. Number six. So guys, this thing that I'm doing here that I mentioned, it is also happening with the letter D. I guess this, with the letter D. All right, so keep it in mind. T and D, we hold the sounds. Read it with me, please. Anna, an identifying number. An identified number. An identified number. An allocated to an individual. Okay, wait. Um, I'm gonna play. <laughs> I'm gonna play like. I'm gonna say it in like slow motion, so you understand. And then I'm gonna say it normally. Only after I say it normally, you repeat. Let's start again. Annie, Annie, an, mm. an identifying, an identifying, an identifying number allocated, number allocated, allocated to an in, to an in, to, to an, an individual, to an, to an individual, to an individual, uh huh, by a, by a bank. By a bank. By a bank. Exactly. By a bank. Hasta nombre puede salir. By a bank. Right? By a bank. By a bank. Or O. Or O. Or other organization. Or other organization. And used for validating electronic transactions. And used for validating electronic transactions. Now, normal. An identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Go, please. An identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or organization. Good. Volunteer to read, please. I knew it. I don't know why, but go ahead. An identifying number allocated to an individual by a bank or other organization and used for validating electronic transactions. Okay, nice. I like the pace that you use. Aquí, an identifying, an identifying. Go ahead. An identifying. An identifying. Used for. Used for. for. Uh -huh. Alison, used for? Used for. Nice. The last one. A report. A report. A report. A report. A report. Filed by a financial institution. Filed by a financial institution. Filed by a financial institution. To signal that someone may have stolen your identity. Good, very good. So let's do it normal. A report filed by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity. 
volunteer please Mm -hmm. Come on, just one. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, me, Eric. Go ahead, Eric. Thank you. A record filled by a financial institution to signal that someone may have stolen your identity. Right. So, um, any question about any vocabulary you might have seen here, guys? <sighs> No question. Extra layer. A layer. It's a um, layer. Uh huh. Layer. It's for yeah. example when you when you eat burritos. Sometimes mm -hmm. they add an extra layer of tortilla. A layer. <laughs> right. Okay. The onions have the, a layer. The onions have layers. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank so, you. So, how do you say, uh -huh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to give you a dollar to the one who answers this without the internet. No, okay. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm okay. Not gonna, I'm not going to give you any money. How do you say, um, I know Where how to say it. In, PayPal. Nah, give me a second. I know how to say it in English, but I forgot in Spanish. How do you call in Spanish to someone who builds houses? ¿Cómo que se le dice a los que hacen casas? No es obrero, no es albañil. Albañil, thank you very much. How do you say albañil in English? No. No one? Keep your dollar. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your dollar. I don't need it. Okay. It is brick liar. Brick liar. Brick liar. Brick liar. Uh -huh. Can you write it, please? Brick write? I'm sorry, brick layer. Brick layer. Brick layer. Brick layer. Brick layer. Brick like layer. this. Layer. Brick is, um, well, you can Ladrillo. So brick layer. A layer of bricks, another layer of bricks, brick another layer. layer of bricks. Makes mm -hmm. sense, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank All right, guys. You. So this is what we're going to do right now. I need you to create your own definitions, your own definitions of this. Okay? Simple as that. <laughs> Instead of having this, try to make it simple. So a five-year-old boy can understand, okay? Nothing complicated, something easy. Your own definition of fraud, for example. What is the definition of fraud that you can give me? It's an scam that people usually do. An scam. It's an scam for you to get benefit out of it. Right? Because if you make fraud, it's because you want to get something back. So, excellent. We're going to have until it's 8.33. I'm going to try to give you no more than 8.45 so you can come up with your own definitions and we can share them with the group. So, what are you going to do? Right. We have to write them, right? If you want to memorize them, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Ha, ha. What are we yeah. going to do? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, guys, oh. this book, you have it in the platform, on the platform. Yeah, it's true. Or if not, you know, technology. I'm going to send it via WhatsApp. I can do that because it's the book. Any other kind of material, I cannot share it. All right, guys. So I'm going to stop okay, it. Thank you. Go ahead and accept the invite, and you're going to give me your own definition of the six terms right here. Just a moment. I'm gonna send the invite right now. Make it simple so a five-year-old child can understand it. There we go. Please accept it. I'm gonna send the image right now.
Okay, Eric, did you get the, the invite? When you get something using lies, is that the, the idea that, that you have? Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. When... Something. Yeah. Lies. Lies or, or cheating, right? Or yeah. engaños? Uh huh. Cheating. Cheating. Okay. okay, next one. Identity theft. Uh, when someone steals your personal information. Like what, for example? <laughs> like like some, your some, some financial information. When someone information, your steal, stole. Mm -hmm. uh, you, That's what I'm talking you about. Stole something. your information. Who steals? Steal yeah. your information. Someone steal your information. Someone who? This is a uh, relative pronouns are gonna be um, here, but those words like someone, somebody, is uh, in they use third person. Someone who steals. Okay. Why? Because someone can be a man. Or a woman, we don't know. That's why they are called indefinite pronouns. Someone who right. steals, someone who runs, someone who jumps. Right. Good job, guys. So let me check another group. Your personal information. Mm -hmm. You need a way to have more security at your things. What kind of things? Well, in this case, it could be your information online. Okay. Let me hear the, the definition of what is this one? Uh, Two-factor authentication. Okay. What what examples do we have in real life with two-factor authentication? Uh, Gmail has a two-factor authentication. Uh, I guess that Out, um, Outlook has it too. For example, uh, with the account you have in the computer, you could have the way of just putting your password, or there is a, an application called Call Generator, and it sends you a call mm -hmm. for you to get access to your computer. Okay, good. Like Banco America Central has that. They ask you for a token. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you because I have America Central. I gave you inf sensitive information that I shouldn't have. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, I have heard of um, an application from a bank. I don't know which one is that you have to have to. I don't know if one or two more applications that gives you a code to enter to the application of the bank. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I don't know if it's the same as yours. I'm not really sure, but it is the same mechanism though. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, keep it up guys. I, maybe they want to say something that, that is like a key. So we can ask to the teacher later. What? Ask what? About what is, what is the what is the meaning or the real uh, explanation for physical token? Oh, 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 oh! The, I the, guess I'm not I'm not sure of that, but I guess that it is like a little thing, like a USB that they give that they uh, give you. I used to teach classes at a bank. And the employees of the bank had like a little code. Or when you go to the bank, they have a little code in their lanyards. Like supposedly the system sends something to the code and you have to copy it. I'm not sure. It's not clear, right? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah but I have an idea about the, mm -hmm. about the meaning of physical token. It is like, I guess, that's the one because in uh, Banco, Agri Banco America Central, they have an application for tokens. So you, you need the application and then you need the token application. So at a certain point, the application asks you, please enter the, to the token. And they send you a token that I think it expires after two minutes or something like that. So you need to get mm -hmm. that token and enter it in the system. Something like that, okay. but in physical, they have a little device that shows the token to the person. I think that's the one because it says physical. Okay. Thank you. okay. Uh, can we um, can we make a substitution for the physical token to a chip on the on the debit card or the credit card? It could be the same. Yeah, I mean, re remember that you're gonna give your own explanation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can you can say whatever you want as long as it makes sense with what you want to explain. Okay. Okay. How many do you have right now? Uh, yeah, we have two. finished two. Okay. Then <laughs> hurry up because you got like three minutes. Okay. Okay. This, uh... Hey guys, how are you doing? Great. Hey, <laughs> how many do you have right now? Two. <laughs> the first two. <laughs> Okay. No, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I just want to tell you that you have three minutes left. <laughs> okay, teacher. The factor authentication. Hey, Karen. Thank you for joining. Um, did they explain to you what we are working on? Karen. Hi. Hi. Did they explain to you what we are working on? I'm having a little bit problems, but okay, yeah. It's... Uh, making they are making a what? Yeah, it's breaking up. Actually, but in, um, in the meantime, if you can hear us, they are working creating their own terms, their own definition of the of some terms that i sent to whatsapp to the whatsapp group is the same that you have on your on your book on your pdf book from the class all right but share guys the idea is for you to share if it's needed i'm gonna give you a couple of more minutes but turkey face okay okay no more than 850 okay i'm having a, a, a those are two. It requires another one. No, no. Username and password is one. If you need another another layer, you can put uh, your digital print, your yeah. your uh, fingerprint, your fingerprint. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Don't be sorry. It's fine. Your your fingerprint, your within scan, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a two step. Uh, second step of the, the authentication, two step authentication, so, something like that. Let's say we could say something like this uh, as well. Mm -hmm. Guys, two sorry, step, sorry to interrupt. Of, yep. um, I have given five more minutes, but let's make sure that try to finish. All right, there's no right okay. or wrong answer. I mean, as long as it, you know, it uh, conveys the message. Okay. All right. Keep it it is suspend. How do you say suspendido, teacher? Suspended. Suspended. It mm -hmm. is suspended in this moment. Oh, and how they take assistance? Um, we make a report every day and mm -hmm. send to the. Recursos humanos. Human resources. Human resources. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. It's a good yes. idea. 
Did, yes, you, did you finish all of it? Uh, yes, we okay. finished. Great, because uh, most of the groups, they only had like two definitions done. So I gave them until 8.50. Um, in the meantime, just go ahead and review the, the, the definitions you have created or, you know, continue talking about the topic in English. Okay. All right. See you at 8.15, four minutes. How are you doing, guys? I too. We are finished now. Yeah. Okay, good. So um, I wanted to please review them because uh, most of the groups only had like two. So I gave you guys until 8.50. So in three minutes, oh. we're gonna go to, back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And where I find the midterm? It's uh, <clears throat> on the platform, it's right after okay. unit two. So it is I, inside unit- After 2.14. I think so, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna double check right now. But I can find it. Uh, let me there. With the section two. Mm -hmm. Right after section two. Sections two. Uh, Give me a second. When the, the section two. Here. Upon 13. Mm -hmm. You're going to after. Open. After. 2.14 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. or you the can go one straight one. to it so you click where it says course okay then you open yeah. the section and it is right here midterm anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna give you okay. a lot of information about the thank midterm you. tomorrow oh thank you mm -hmm. you're welcome thank you thank you all right guys so um in the next two minutes, go ahead and review the ones that you have, who's gonna say who when, whenever you have to participate. Okay, in the web, I have to register, register in the website? Yes, register. you need to, register. you just need um, a create a password with your email and then when you, entry and in your email uh, you keep um, an option and then you create your date it's like when you go to policy solvencies or you ask for a policy or police solvency mm, the police record perhaps just, i'm not sure solvency aha uh -huh. solvency mm -hmm. policy I'm gonna Google it it's right now. Similar, it's similar. And the, in this case, you select your your, your schedule. And S schedule, very good. Schedule. And the specific day you want to go. But depend of the fluently of the Dewey Centro that you selected. Uh, it's um. Is the it it depends for the capac the capac capacity the capacity. capacity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. Sorry to interrupt. You can say um. That's a, a background check. Yes. Background check. Uh huh. It's a background check. The background check of the police. You can oh, say yeah. it like a police report or something like that. In the States, it's very common that they do a background check. For example, if you go to any, besides asking for la solvencia de policía, what is the other one? Antecedentes penales. Uh -huh. um, most call centers, they do a background check and they cross-reference with the United States. So if you have committed mm -hmm. a felony in the States, they might not hire you in a call center here in El Salvador because of the crime you committed there. So that is called background check. They check your past, if you have been a good citizen or not. All right, okay. let's go back to the main one. All right, guys, so now that we are almost back, let's go ahead and share again, so we can have it ready. Who can give me a definition about fraud? 
you are all going to participate. So one member of each group, say it quick, please. Okay. Me, Aldo. Go ahead, Aldo. Fraud. It's a scam that people use to get some benefits. Okay. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Okay. Great. Most of you guys are with your microphones on mute, which is not bad, but I cannot hear your opinion. Thank you. So, a group. Andrea, I'm going to choose the first one for each group. What's your okay. definition of fraud? Uh, when someone gets something with lies or cheating. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Great. Alison. Okay. Always with <laughs> fraud. We're comparing. Okay. Uh, when some people lie about things, get something they want for free. For example. Okay, do you guys agree? Yes. Agree. Okay, let's set something straight, guys. Let's set something straight. Um, whenever someone finishes, you can say, yes, or mm, I have a doubt. Right, so I don't have to ask, ask over and over again. Do you agree? Do you agree? All right, next one. Thank you, um, Alison Abner. Fraud. Okay. Uh, fraud. Mm. Criminal deception intended to result in a financial or personal gain. Uh huh. Yeah, that's the one in the book. Did you just come to the group? Uh, no, I didn't come. <laughs> Did you just come? Acabas de entrar al grupo. Yes. Ah, okay. That's why. No worries about it, my man. Okay. You're saved. Celia. Uh, okay. Uh, is when someone provides you with false information to secure something. Um, maybe unlawful gain. Okay, guys? Three. I agree. I'm not getting understand. <laughs> okay. okay, fair enough. Let's try to make this quick, guys. Okay, let's try to hurry up. <clears throat> Next one, identity theft. Juan Carlos. Um, identity theft when someone uh, who's uh, steal your uh, personal information. Okay, do you, what do you think, guys? Agree. 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 Okay. All right. Good. The group. Agree. Uh, man, man I, I, I love when you're all quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's Thursday, guys, but just today, tomorrow is pure practice. You will not feel the class, and then you have two days to rest, to chill out, to relax the keto. But now, let's rock it. Ernesto. Uh, when someone has sold your personal information and use it for buying buying or making purchases. Yes or no? Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree. agree. Excellent. Uh, Eric. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Someone, someone information. Else has, has stolen your personal information to use it. Okay. I think we all have that clear, right? Any questions? No. no. Two-factor authentication. <laughs> no. Nice, I like that you're answering now. Fantastic. <coughs> Daniel, two-factor authentication. What do you have? Uh, extra information requested to make your account more secure. Do you agree, guys? Yes. Yes, I nice. agree. Nice I agree. Gladys. Um, it's an additional step to uh, authenticate your personal information. Mm -hmm. Guys, agree. Yes, yes, yes agree. agree. Nice, Morena. 
it's when um, a bank make uh, make two platform or two two yes two platform or or two platforms. Uh, yes, for to authentic authenticate uh, your identity. Guys, yes. Uh -huh. yes. That's right. Yeah. If you want to add any comment, yes. you may. You are welcome to do so. That's right, but not only banks. Uh, social yes. media also has it sometimes. You know, Gmail, someone told me it has it. Great. Facebook. Facebook. Next one, credit report, Roxana. Credit report. Information report, credit activity. Guys? Yes. yes. Easy, 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 easy. Eric? It's a report that provides uh, financial status. Guys? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. It is a report that provides, third person, provides. But then, yes. Next one, pin, um, Karen? You are muted, Karen, can you hear me? Yes, sorry, I, 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 I don't have it. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you came, you came late, right? And, and you were having yes, issues with sorry. the internet. Uh -huh. No, don't worry, I understand. Ella vino tarde para cosas tienen de Insafor. Para cosas de Insafor, oigan al otro. Para propósito de monitoreo de Insafor. Karen estuvo aquí, pero vino tarde. Y tiene problemas con el internet. All right, so pin. Who can give me pin? Gladys. A combination of numbers that allows me to access to my account on an ATM. Guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, Marcela. Ah, you, you want to? <laughs> yes, yeah, please. Uh, pin. Yes. I wrote a personal code to log in on your accounts. Good, guys. What's the difference between a pin and a code? Pin and code. Um, electronic pin is electronic. Mm, Maybe mm. a difference is between the number. Whoa, 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 whoa! I I heard it around there. Continue, please. Number. Exactly. The pins is with a number. The pin is a number. Only numbers. Number. Mm -hmm. Call be maybe a, use a, number a letter. A letter, letter symbols and numbers. Uh -huh. Normally the pin, normally, right? I'm not saying that this is like, they can call it whatever they want. I can have a company. Yeah. This is your pin, C, X, three, right? But normally mm -hmm. pin is for numbers. Codes mm -hmm. is for a combination of symbols, numbers, and letters. Excellent. We got it clear. Fraud alerts. Let me see who has not, who I haven't heard. Sarita, go ahead. Fraud alert. <laughs> okay, a fraud alert is when you, you expose the fraud that you are victim. Do you guys agree? The group. That's right. <laughs> is yes, that? I wasn't. Yes, I was Ah. Hmm. Okay. All right. We're going to leave it there for right now. Um, thank you very much, Sara. Thank you for participating. Everybody, camera, son, let's go ahead and take attendance, guys. Give me a second here. Notas y control de asistencia. All right. So, Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera. No. Andrea del Carmen Martínez Aragón. Present. I see you. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. No. Daniel Ernest, Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present. See you. Gladys Idalia Meléndez Hernández. Present. Ah, I see you there. Thank you. Aldo Sadi Castro Pleites. Present. See you there, everybody. Eric Arnaldo Celada Ayala. Present. See you. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Oh, I see you down there. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Amy Melissa. Okay. Then we got Marcela Beatriz Lopez Pira. Present. 
All right. David Orlando Nerio. David Orlando Nerio. Roxana Metilia Ríos de Quiñones. Roxana. Roxana Domitilia Ríos de Quiñones. Ah, I see you there. Present. Okay, great, great. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. Thank you, Jay-Z. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Menino. She said that she's going to join later because she has a, something on the university. Oh, yeah. She was the one. Okay. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. I see you. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. There we go. Present. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. See you. Cele Carmina Pineda Avalos. Present. Got it. Karen Eileen Garcia Benitez. Present. See you too. And Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Present. Okay. So guys, let's go ahead and continue. Do you have any question about this topic we are ha we are having right now? Any topic about the definitions? Any question? No. no? Okay. So, do you guys know how to prevent or how to detect identity theft? No, I have no idea. I, I guess the the only one that you can note is when your bank or your digamos el ejemplo de banco your bank uh -huh. notifies you if if notifies you notifies you notifies you notifies you then that you are using your account or your or your money of your credit card and okay. you can know that, I guess. Okay, no, I mean, every option, every opinion is valid. We haven't covered that topic and, and you're right. That's one way of, uh, that's one way of saying it. Now, mm -hmm. the today's objective is for you to describe and identify identity, sorry, describe, describe and identify identity theft when shopping online. That's gonna be the objective for today. So we know that if your bank is telling you, hey, you did this transaction, do you recognize it? Is this your child? Mm -hmm. Then yes, you can identify it. So I'm gonna play a kind of short video in order for you to have more information. I am going to activate the, the closed caption. So please, pen and paper ready, write down quick tips. Okay, so you don't have to write down everything completely because then we are going to discuss it. Any new vocabulary, you please let me know and I'll help you out. Here we go. E S. Two tickets to Paris. A week in a very fancy hotel. Oh, and dinner and fine wine to match. Ooh la la, what a vacation. The only problem? You've never been anywhere near France, but a credit card with your name on it has been. It looks like you might be one of the millions of Americans who've experienced fraud or identity theft. But even if it's never happened to you, it's always good to know how to protect yourself. Just a few decades ago, credit card fraud and identity theft were things that people rarely thought about. But today, there's a greater risk we could end up as victims. What's more, identity theft costs businesses and consumers billions of dollars each year. And that doesn't even include credit card fraud. Before we get into protecting yourself, let's talk about what differentiates fraud from outright identity theft. An example of fraud is when someone uses your credit card to make purchases. And while the charges for a new laptop that you've never bought are nothing to sneeze at, they pale in comparison to what a stolen identity can do to your life. Identity theft is a little more complex. It's someone pretending to be you who has somehow gotten hold of your personal data, like your social security number, birthday, or passwords, and has the intention of passing himself off as you. A thief will use your name and other information to commit fraud 
by opening up credit cards and loans in your name. They may even commit other crimes and use your name when they get caught. It's not hard to see why having your identity stolen can be a disaster for your finances, your credit, and even your good name. So, what can you do? A lot more than you think. While there is no way to keep your information completely safe, there are many things you can do to protect yourself from both the high-tech thieves and the guys picking through your trash. Here are 10 tips to consider adding to your own strategies. 1. Check your credit report. The three major credit bureaus, Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax, will give you a free credit report once a year if you request it. Take advantage of this to watch for accounts you've never opened and check activity on accounts you haven't used in a while. And the accounts you do use, watch your credit card account activity closely and check your bank statements often. Because the earlier you spot suspicious activity, the easier it will be to clean up. 2. Be unique. Take the time to create different passwords for all of your accounts. The idea is to create a system that's easy for you to remember, but impossible for others to guess. Here's one way to do it. Start by choosing a word you associate with the site you're on. So, if it's where you buy books, take the main character from a novel you love and pair it with your favorite color, and the model or year of your first car. You can even make it harder for someone to crack by adding capital letters, symbols, using words that aren't in the dictionary, or making it a sentence. Oh, and one more thing. When it comes to usernames, make sure they're not obvious like your name or email, and avoid using your social security number whenever you can. 3. Mind your mailbox. Believe it or not, your mailbox can be a big threat to your financial security. Don't give thieves the opportunity to steal pre-approved credit card applications or those blank checks that come with credit card statements. And if you typically put outgoing mail in your mailbox, stop. A trip to the post office can prevent someone from stealing checks you've written to your creditors. Oh, speaking of the post office, it's a common tactic for thieves to reroute and steal mail by filling out change of address forms. So if you notice your mail service being interrupted, contact the post office right away. 4. Shred your trash. They're out there dumpster diving and trash picking. They're even raiding your garbage can and recycling bin, looking for social security numbers and account information. So buy a shredder and make it more challenging for them to get the goods on you. 5. Get smarter about being social. Okay, I know that times have changed, and social media has made it easy to get in touch with everyone. But putting every little detail about your life out there for the world to see gives the bad guys an advantage. You need to make it harder for thieves to answer personal questions about you. Stuff like your mom's maiden name, where you went to grammar school, or even your pet's name can help them figure out or reset your passwords. Even your birth date is something you should keep to yourself because it's a key piece of information someone needs to steal your identity. And those geotagged photos? Well, they can make it awfully easy to find out where you live. So keep your personal information personal. 6. Be wary of strangers. Be suspicious of people who contact you looking for information. If someone calls or emails you from a bank, credit card company, collection agency, government agency, or just anywhere, don't give them your personal information. Tell them you'll call their 1-800 number and hang up. Never ever give out bank account numbers, your birth date, or social security number to anyone who reaches out to you. And that email from a long-lost relative about your big inheritance, or a notice about lottery money you've won? Yeah, that's probably a phishing scam looking for your information. 7. Look for the lock. If you're shopping online, be sure the address begins with HTTPS. The S tells you the site is secure. And don't forget to look for the little lock icon in the browser before you enter any payment information. 8. Build your fortress. Well, build a digital fortress around your devices anyway. It's important to maintain antivirus and anti malware software on your computer, tablet, and smartphone. And when updates are pushed out, install them as quickly as you can. Oh, you should also avoid keeping all your financial info on your computer. And decline when a browser asks to remember your password on a financial site. 9. Secure yourself. Whether using your home Wi-Fi or a computer at the library, you need to take steps to secure your info. Start by password protecting your home's network. And when you log in on the go, especially to any of your financial accounts, don't do it on an open network. No, no! Like the free one at your favorite coffee shop. And if you're using a shared computer, be sure to clear all your personal information when you log out. And 10. Enlist help. Sign up for alerts from your bank or credit card company to notify you when there is suspicious activity on your account. 
Well, there you have it. Add these steps together, and you've got a great jump on safeguarding your financial information. While there is no surefire way to keep it 100% safe, these basic tips can make you a tougher target for the bad guys. So the next time you see charges from a European adventure, well, you should have some fabulous memories to go along with them. You are muted, teacher. This is a piece of my own chocolate, right? I always tell you. <laughs> oh, that's. Go, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. Very good. So, guys, um, thank you very much. Anybody with? Uh, did you learn anything new? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Before we get into the topics, because we are going to discuss them, any question about vocabulary? Loans. Yes. Loans. When you go to the bank, they give you money that you owe and that you have to pay with a lot of interest. That's a loan. That's a loan. Anything else as far as new vocabulary? Thread. You try. Thread. Oh, thread. Okay, we got thread and we got fortress. Fortress is what they used to have in the uh, in the castles, right? Mm -hmm. That's a fortress that nobody can get in. Also, oh. gated communities have fortress, walls protecting something. So obviously, in the, on the internet, we cannot like physically create a wall, but we can have antiviruses, you know, two-step verification, etc. So, fortaleza. And the one that you asked for is shred. Have you ever seen those machines that you actually uh, put paper in and it destroys it? Ah. Mm -hmm. And you got yeah. very fine uh, slips of paper that shred. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. And it's very common in, in the movies, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? So that's a pure document. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But with a lot of time and patience, you might have the pieces together. So don't put every, everything in just one bag, right? Okay, yeah. um, anything else as far as vocabulary? Outright identity theft. Outright is like a general, mm. like in general, outright. Ouch. Uh-huh, what else? Worry. Which one? Worry, be wary. Of strangers. Oh, beware. It's like be careful, pr protect yourself. Buso. Right? Okay. Salvadorian. Start your face. <laughs> yes. So when you take next 26th, when buses start to run again, if you take the bus, beware. There's very hungry people out there. Hungry for bad habits. Okay. Um, nothing else? Mm -hmm. right no. Okay. So what are the step, step the, the 10 steps we have? What is number one? Check your credit, credit, credit report. report. Credit report. Write them down. So number one. Every month. Check your, check credit, your report. credit report. Correct. Every month. I have a question that we will be discussing after this one. What is the difference between fraud and identity theft? Fraud versus identity. Fraud well, is when somebody lies you and you are to spend money and nothing, <laughs> I guess. Uh -huh. um, the, uh, fifth is when you uh, is when you uh, when somebody stole or your your uh, steal your steals uh, steals your. Uh, the number of your credit card and they are using and uh, like you are using that. Mm -hmm. I... So what well, they are pretending to be you. So fraud, something well, bad, a scam, okay. identity theft is a scam of someone pretending to be you. So it's even worse. All right, so number two. 
be unique, create unique. different passwords. Uh -huh. Be and unique, create, create different passwords. Mm -hmm. So remember that each, each one of these is going to be discussed, but real quick. For example, do you check your credit report? Well, I don't really check my credit report because I don't have a credit card. I don't, but my girlfriend does. So she actually checks it every single month just in case I bought something I shouldn't have bought. No, I'm kidding. Just in case someone has actually <laughs> bought something to prevent. Um, be unique with the password. Here you can give recommendations. For example, add a number, a capital letter, right? Don't use your name, etc. What is number three? Mind your, your, your mailbox. Mind your mailbox. Mind your ba mailbox. Um, mailbox. Mm -hmm. mailbox. Here you can ask, do you pay attention to what is being mailed to you? Right? Because sometimes if you live in condos, they don't want to go to your door and they just leave it where everybody can take it. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's like a general mailbox. So do you normally mm -hmm. check your mailbox, etc.? Next one. Shred your trash. Shred your trash. Trash. Your trash. Your trash. Yes. Do you normally throw away things with your name? No. Mm. Or you scratch it's, your name or try trash. to destroy it? You can, you can make comments about that. I, yeah, crash or share. Or Maybe shred. Without the, the machine because I don't have the machine, but with my hands. <laughs> They are not that expensive. My, my father used to have one now that I think Sorry. about it. But it my internet is... No worries, no worries. We, we know internet is... My dog. Your dog is a... Is a Your dog is a machine. machine. It's a machine. <laughs> machine. <laughs> Great. Next one, number five. Get, uh, get, get smart, smart about, about being social, being social media. Yeah, don't don't post everything you do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Social media. That what what she said. Yes. So, be a, beware of social media. Okay. I have friends that I know where they studied, where they graduated from, where they work, where they live, where they go. So careful with that. Beware yeah. of strangers. Is number six. Yeah. Have you ever received beware. a call? Hey, we got a new loan to you. For that, I just need you to get me your Dewey, your need, right? Be careful with those calls. Call the companies. Discuss it. Look for the log. I remember Aldo talking about it. It's number seven. To speed it up. Look for the log for secure websites. Talk about real quick why. Look for the log. Mm -hmm. HTTPS. Correct. HTTPS. I learned that here in this class, believe it or not. Okay. Number eight. Build your fortress. Build your fortress. Build your fortress. 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 Right? How can you build it? With antivirus and antivirus. Virus. Spyware. Malware. Spyware. Number nine. Secure, secure yourself. Secure yourself. Oh. Secure yourself. That's right. How? Maybe using your own networks and not open by like, connection. Mm -hmm. Using your own network, not opening connections, not making payments when you are logged into McDonald's free Wi-Fi, please. <laughs> uh, and then in the last one, number 10. And list help. And help. 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 That's pretty much request from your bank or credit institution that send uh, that to send you an alert. Every time that I withdraw money from the ATM, even though it's a debit card, I get an email. So I automatically say, your last $5 have been withdrawn, right? Mm -hmm. So careful with that, you can have that. <laughs> so guys, this is what we're gonna do. Um, at the end of the class, you're gonna be pretending to be, and that's part of the objective of the class, you're gonna be pretending to be a person in customer service dealing with an identity theft situation. Okay, so customer agent. Now, from right now until 9.45, you're gonna be discussing these topics, give your opinion about it, right? 
and try to cover them all from here to 945. I'm gonna be jumping from group to group so you can practice a lot and ask me a lot of questions. You ready? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You don't sound so ready, but all right, I believe you. All right, give me a second. <laughs> okay, so breakout rooms have been created. I'm gonna be visiting you. Practice makes perfect, guys. Let's rock it. <laughs> Then you great report. I always, no, not always, uh, but once a month, I check mm -hmm. my, uh, my credit report and not just for my credit card, with also my debit card. Ah, you're right. Me too. Wow. In my case, every month, I check my credit report. Uh, because it's very important. Uh, the last year, I I got a, a, a extra charge around three three hundred dollars. Yes, yes. Since 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 that moment, everyone I check my credit report. <laughs> but what happened with, with with that charge? With that big charge? Sorry? What happened with, with that charge, with the 300 charge in your credit? Ah, okay. What happened? Okay, I I went to the bank and and I I I talked with the customer service and two months later I returned my money. They gave me my money back or they uh -huh, they gave me my money back. You can say that. Okay. They gave me okay. my money back. They gave me my money back. <laughs> but the, that, was, that happened because someone stole your credit card or it was a mistake from a store that you bought? Uh, <clears throat> they told me that I had my, my credit card uh, account from Canada, but I... I I don't, I, I didn't you remember. Never. I never. I don't. Okay. Me too. I check the report activity once, once time, a month, and compare the, the, the ticket, or maybe other test measures when you are charged, when, when I charge, my credit card, I receive a uh, test message. Uh, what, JC? When I, when I pay with my credit card, I receive in my cell phone a uh, test message. Ah, uh -huh. every time you use your this, credit card. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and compare the, and the, every month compare the, the activity. Okay. Compare, compare activity with the 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 ultra with the text message. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and uh, number two, uh, strong password. I try to use something that I know that maybe anybody else know. <laughs> okay, yeah. That one I I really don't apply it, but I will try because I think that it's important, and yeah. in order to feel safer with my financial reports and stuff. Yeah. Um. What about the third one? Mind your mailbox. Uh, I'm not sure to put into practice this too. 
I didn't, or normally I don't verify. Well, I all the things that I receive, I receive it uh, virtually. So I don't check my mailbox because I receive it in my email or all the bills and all that stuff. I receive it in my mail or in my cell phone in general, so. Like, no, you never in your house, like for the water receipts or? or yeah, water receipts, but it's not in my name, so. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Those yeah. are the, yeah. the, water, the water bills. The water bills. Mm, the receipt is normally when you pay. Yeah. Here's yeah. the receipt, it's your proof of payment. The bill is just the one that tells you how much you're gonna pay. Girls, I have a question, I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you receiving the broadcast messages that I'm sending? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, just wanted to be sure. And, um, continue, <laughs> I'm not here. I have a question, we only have to discuss. Yeah, yeah, you only have to, the, to discuss. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, so, the next one. Like you're doing but with real information. Okay. The ne next one is shred your shred. trash. It sounds like Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I usually like, uh, I am like careful with all the documents that have my name or my info information. I. I, I try to make sure that I shred those things before I put it on the on the on the trash. Like uh -huh, here is a very good opportunity for you to for you to explain how you do it. Now, for example, when I normally I have to get rid of documents, what I normally do is that I get a black marker, but black 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 marker i just don't cut it because they can put the pieces together right they might people may have time so what i do is that i get the marker and i start scratching the important documents obviously sometimes there are techniques for you to see it you know like using a pencil right and another one so i try to damage the paper a little bit so people can do that that's what i normally do that's being a lot of like, carefulness. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I got nothing for people to steal from me, but I am careful any, anyways. <laughs> I don't get the few I have. To be honest, I don't receive like a, a physical like paper or with my name because uh, some bills or something like that, I receive it in my email, like a kind of virtual uh bill but but to be honest i'm not careful with that kind of thing <laughs> good keep it up girls continue you're doing great yeah applications for the cell phone uh for a, i don't know any 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 app for the cell phone but you can use this one as well this site okay and if you are not agree with this one, you can do it again, and it changed every it, single time. It changes. It changes the person. It changes. And uh, the, that button is for in the bottom that says web to GP, J, JPG. For what is? There you go. Is to convert. Ah, orale, good you. <laughs> How do you say that in English? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. GPK, no, no, no. You can say something like just nice. 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 That's okay, mind your mailbox. What do you think about that? What is mine? I am. I find mind like, like depends. put attention like pay pay attention pay attention put okay. attention no that was back in the days so pay <laughs> pay attention <laughs> okay 
pay, pay attention. Okay. So in be, this case, be careful with your mailbox. I mean, what you exactly. receive, for example, if they send you your bank statement there, they send you new credit cards, you know, etc. Okay. Nice. Okay. Uh, in that case, I, I, I think that we can. Um, we can request to the bank if we are going to accept a credit card that uh, we are going to pick it up at as an, uh, an an agency. Yes, for example, I guess or instead instead that they send you by a mailman or delivery. Yes. It is an option. I guess another one option is, I guess, bank banks usually are trying to avoid uh, sends uh, paper now nowadays. So they usually ask for your email in order to send you the account to your emails. When, when it's a credit report, yes. But when when you are going to accept the plastic, they okay, they yes, tells right. you they tell you that. Yeah. All right. They set an appointment right. to your work or your house mm -hmm. when you're going to, to receive the, the plastic. So in that case, I suggest that if you are going to accept a, a plastic, uh, go and pick it up at, the, uh, at an agency. Yeah, that's a good tip. Normally, they, when they send it to you, that's right, they schedule the appointment. You have mm -hmm. to sign and everything. And you have to wait like 24 hours for you to activate it. Exactly. Something like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, great. You're doing great. Let me check another group. Okay. The fourth one is. And um, you are going to need to change all your passwords. So be unique with them because uh, that's, that can be difficult, not more difficult. Uh, if this happened again in your case. Okay, and if I freeze the account, the, the theft cannot uh, withdraw money from my account. No, they will not be able to do that anymore. And I can can do it. And how do you say? Either, either, neither? No. Uh, either? Right now, you couldn't do that. But you either. But that's why I'm asking you to come to the bank so we can change the passwords and the credit card. So they should be. Okay, I will do that. Are you working on the role play already? Yes. So yes. You, you finished discussing the 10 points already? No. You're telling <laughs> stories about we, the identity theft. Oh, okay. Yes, but, we've been telling stories. But working on the steps, right? No? No. <laughs> okay. Like oh, for, no. no worries. We forgot about that. Yeah. Just, you got 10 minutes for it to discuss that too, because you're going to have time to work on the, on the role plays. I mean, I oh. thank you because you're practicing, you're taking it seriously, but uh, you can also do that. So, for example, the one that says, I haven't written down, don't post everything on social media, which is number nine. And you can say, yeah, no. And you tell your, your real case or what you think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, the number one will be check your credit report. Yeah, I think it's important. I, I do that a lot because I, um, oh, I, I, how do you say well, I, I told the group uh, like Monday or Tuesday that say once my credit card, my, my card was cloned. So now I'm just like uh, really aware of, of um, my Careful. account. Yes, so every time I, I enter to the bank, to the online bank, um, I check like uh, my my report my my last ten transactions, and yeah. <laughs> and I check a lot to see if 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 all oh, it's okay. So if I everything, it's if okay. everything it's okay. Yes. If mm -hmm. everything is okay. If everything is okay. Uh -huh. is okay. 
We don't use it because you already have the subject, everything, todo. And what about you, More? I haven't really heard you much. Uh, yes, in this case, they, they are talking about, the, about their, their singular cases. Mm -hmm. In my case, I never had a, a stolen identity or identity theft in this case. Okay, but in the, the one that they are discussing, what do you think? Uh, for, I, mean, I know that you don't, you don't have a credit card, right? Uh, yes, I have credit card and I just, in this case, I the, the bank in, uh, sent me a, a report okay. um, monthly. Mm -hmm. Mensualmente. Yes. And do you and check it? I check it and I check it because uh, I need to know about the details about the shopping or the purchases like. or purchases mm -hmm. or pay and pay the 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 the, 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 the bills. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. That's what I need for you all to practice. All right, girls, continue. Let me just double check the last group. Great job. For this one, uh, something that I get used to do is um, cut the papers with a scissor, trying to, um, to use a permanent marker, a black one. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes I burn the papers. To give the information just hey. for me. I don't know what about you. What What do you do with the uh, information you you work in the operativa when you want to hey. destroy some information? Info, como la información que utilizo, como es trash. Teacher, eh, teacher, mm, I don't have the the 10 topics oh i sent them in a broadcast message the message we can see them no. i i, okay. I got the, the the notifications uh -huh. like on, on top of the the video but when i enter to the chat it just appear let me check the Gerons and prepositions before mm -hmm. buying, before studying, after eating, after taking a shower. And that's all. I don't know why, but I do receive the notifications, but they are not in the chat. No worries. Let me give them to you real quick then, because I sent a broadcast message to all, but no worries. So number one oh. okay, is for you to check your credit report. Yes. Okay. Number two, be unique to have different passwords. Okay, be unique. Oh, to have different passwords. Uh-huh. Mind your mailbox for you to check what's coming and going out of your mailbox. Yeah. Then uh, shred your trash. It's like your, the, the thing that you're talking about. Uh, yeah. What is the meaning, teacher? Shred is like to destroy. Like... Not Normally, like paper, uh, clothes, or something like that. I'm sorry. For example, when you shred cheese to make that teeny parts. Uh huh. Pretty much. Pretty much. It is the same. The action. same action and the same result. Mm -hmm. Shred. Okay. But just the the one for food is more delicious. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, then we got number five, don't post everything on social media. Mm -hmm. You know, people nowadays, they put everything, where the children study, um, yes. birthdays, everything. Beware of strangers. That's yeah, I knew that in the bad way. Mm -hmm. but not, not actually me, but my mom, my mom used to post uh, the places we were visiting mm -hmm. and we started to noticing that someone has 
Mm. How do you say? Se metió a la casa. Broke into. In oh. the past. Someone broke into our house. Yeah, someone <laughs> broke into our house. And just to check, because they didn't put nothing, but we noticed that someone broke into the house. Yeah, just that, that. So that way, yeah, she learned to not post uh, the pics when we were right at the place. So she Maybe learned not to do it. A few days. Yeah. Okay. I totally agree. And the, 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 the thing that worries me the most is that it might yeah. be someone from her friends list. Imagine that. Yes. All right. So uh, we're about to finish, though, but just for you to have it. Uh, number six is beware of strangers, like someone calling you, hey, uh, beware okay. of strangers, someone calling you, hey, we need your information, this is bank, blah, 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 and we want to give you a, a loan for $5,000, just give me your DUI, your driver's license number, and all of that, your need. Number seven, look for the lock. Look for the lock. It has to be HTTPS, like Facebook. No, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. supposedly Facebook is not that secure. Yeah, there are a lot it was of... a rumor that they were selling our information, but I don't know yeah. if that's true. Mm -hmm. That's right. Number eight, I mean, antivirus, protect your information on the computer. Antivirus? Uh -huh. I mean, these are the notes I, I took, right? It's not exactly as in the video. Yeah. So you can have antivirus, malware, spyware, etc. Also, um, number nine is Wi-Fi. Be careful the the ones that you connect to. Yes. And um, number ten, alerts for you to request alerts from from your banks every time there's a transaction. Yeah, I was telling Daniel that when I have made uh, some bouts online, some purchases. I just some purchases. Right. I nice. have received uh, the confirmation of the payment, but just from the the website, not from the bank. And I don't know if that is because my car is like debit card. Mm, not necessarily. You can request it. I have a debit card, and every time that yeah. I withdraw money or I make a transaction, I receive an email. So yes, you can request mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All righty, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and go back to the breakout room. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for coming back. Let me just go ahead and double check the attendance the last time. Ana Maria Marroquín Rivera. No. Okay. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba? No. All right. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios? David Orlando Nerio? And Beatriz Adriana Martinez Marino? All right. So she was not able to make it. Now, guys, um, thank you very much. I was visiting you, and uh, you were actually talking about everything. So it is time for you to improvise. Do you like to improvise? No. I know you don't. So that's, why love, <laughs> that's why I love asking you to improvise, because it gets you out of your comfort zone. So... We're going to prepare a role play between a bank representative giving tips to the customer on how to prevent identity theft. Easy. What you have been talking for the last 20 minutes. So, um, I need a volunteer to have the role play with me. Don't be shy. I'm going to be nice, I promise. Okay. Me, Eric. <laughs> who said who said that? Who said? Ladies okay. first. Ladies first. All right. Allison. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Let's rock it. <laughs> Thank you very okay. much for calling uh Pimpollito Bank. This is Alejandro. What can I do for you? Well, 
I don't know what this is company. This is a bank. I am a bank representative and you're going to ask me, ask me for tips on how to prevent identity theft. Okay, so, uh, time. so this is Alison and I want to know how can I have more protection in my account since I always that I make a movement, I didn't get a, like a notification. Oh, I totally understand. Doing. I totally understand, Alison. It will be my pleasure to help you today. You know, quality is listening, so you gotta be yeah. super nice on that one. Okay, <laughs> so uh, first, Alison, I would recommend you to check your credit report. Do you receive it already? No, I didn't receive anything from bank. Okay, may I please have your password? Well, obviously, let's pretend that I already have the account, right? She's a customer. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me, is your email Alison Isabella Ayala Alfaro at inglescorporativo.com? Yes, it is. All right, would you mind, would you want me to send you one? Yes, please. Okay, so you're going to be receiving it in a few minutes. Also, make sure that you have a very unique password. Don't have your name or your DUI, for example. You can also uh, pay attention to your mailbox in case we send you the, the, the credit report there, nobody can steal it, blah, blah, blah. And you go through the topics you already discussed. So this can be a one minute call. So everybody can participate. No more than a minute. Any question? No, I just wait for my email. Okay, <laughs> great, I need two volunteers. Oh, Andrea and, uh, and Eric, thank you very much. I saw you raising your hand. Go ahead. Um, I was just putting my glasses on. <laughs> okay, but that, that, that's a good way to participate. Who's so going to be the customer? With my ears. Who's going to be the customer? I don't know, Eric, you want to be the customer or the... No, I'm, uh, I'm going to be the client. I'm going to be the client. Okay. Okay, so okay. you got a minute. Three, two, one, go. Hi, can, can I help you with something? Yeah, hello, this is Eric. Uh, I would like to get some information about your account because I want to open an account and I would like to know what is your, uh, uh, what do you have uh, as a security plan? What do you offer? Okay, so we have, um, I can offer you or I can uh, tell you like uh, some, some options that you can apply for you to be more secure and safer with your personal information. So, uh, do, you, do you send a credit report by, by, by physic or by email? You can apply for, for both of those. Those You can ask for them to send you the, those reports physically or also by email. Or you can have uh, downloaded the, the app and you can check in your cell phone the credit reports. That that one okay, I recommend you, you because nice. it, like it will be more secure cell. for you. Sorry? <laughs> yes, that, that, no, that's pretty nice. I, I was saying that uh, I would like to get my information account in my cell phone, in my, on on my, yeah. cell phone, my email because on my that cell one phone. I can recommend you be, uh, for you to be okay, you. safer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank Good. You. Nice. Let, let's go ahead and keep only one example. Great job, um, Andrea. Great job, Eric. I know you get nervous from time to time. So a round of applause. A right, round of applause right there. Great, 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 great. Okay, volunteers. Ah, you get your hands very fast, don't you? Oh, so Celia, you are raising the pen. Thank you very much. And let me see who else is raising something. Marcela, you don't even have your camera. So you're the next. You're there? Maybe no. Maybe not. <laughs> no, so sometimes I understand. I'm not saying this is Marcela's um, case, but sometimes I understand you have to, you know, drink water, get rid of the water, you know, so I understand, as long as you come back. Two volunteers, uh, one more volunteer to help Celia. Come on guys, don't make me get the chicken out. Karen, 
oh, Karencita, you don't have the camera no. either. So, you're going to be the customer. The and client. You're... No, the client. Ah, a la carta. Demole, let's continue, Karen. So, Karen, um, Karen and Celia, you're going to explain password. You're going to give tips for the password to be unique. Go. Surprise me. You got two minutes. You are from the bank, Celia. You are the bank representative and the customer. Okay. Rocket. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> thank you for calling Banco Agricola Bank. I mean, thank you for calling Banco Agricola. This is Celia. How can I help you? Hi, Celia. How are you? This is Karen. I need. Hi, I need. I need to open a new account, uh -huh. but uh, I'm not so sure about the password. What recommendation can you give me? Because I don't want to 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 be. I I don't know. I don't want to be um, a victim of identity. Uh -huh. I don't want to be a victim. What tip can you give me, Celia? Karen, I can help you with that. Uh, in order to create a good password and a strong password, you have to use, um, I mean, you have to avoid to use uh, your personal information, your, your, like your name, your your last name, or you have you have to avoid to use um, avoid common using. information. Oh, avoid, avoid using. using common information or personal, I mean, information, I think that you should create a long password, including maybe capital letters, uh, lower case letters, you have to include uh, at least one number, and maybe an a special character. Uh, how, 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 how many words can, can I put in the password? Nine or eight? I recommend you to use more than 10 words. I mean, more than 10 letters. Char characters. Use a long word. Oh, characters. Uh -huh. So you can use a long word. Uh, you can include the first capital letter, then add numbers and, and a special Time. character like question okay. mark. Excellent Thank advice. Thank you so much, Celia. Excellent advice. Great. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> you see? I mean, as far as being nervous, you did, uh, despite of being nervous, you did a good job. Quick tip, quick, quick tip, guys. Avoid is a verb that is evitar. This is a verb that can only be followed by gerunds. So you cannot say avoid to. You have to use ing all the time. Avoid drinking, avoid smoking, avoid going to crowded places, avoid living in El No, not that one, right? Okay, so that's the point. Avoid plus ing all the time. Good. Two more volunteers, please, real quick. Hey, come on, guys. Andrea, give me a color, real quick. Don't think about it, just give me a color. Green. Green. Haha, <laughs> Morena, give me another one, Andrea. Uh, blue. Blue. Nice wall, Eric. No, but you participated already. <laughs> nice wall, Juan Carlos. So, Morena and Juan Carlos, go. No more than two minutes, and you will explain shredding your trash. Shredding your trash. Now, another tip, guys. Trash without H is uh, basura. But if you have trash, con la TH intercalada, T-H-R-A-S-H is azote. That's why trash metal. All right? The same word, different writing. Azote, basura. Okay, go. Juan Carlos and Morena, you got to play uh, uh, all group. No, no, no. You, you're going to have a role play with Morena. One of you is going to be the bank representative. The other one is going to be the customer asking for advice. Ah, ah okay. I am the customer. <laughs> okay, I am. <laughs> well, she's got it. Go for it. Two okay. minutes. Okay. Uh, hello. Uh, this is JC. Welcome to the Bank Pollito. Okay. Bank? Bank Pollito. Bank Pollito. Can I help you? 
Okay, thank you, JC. Uh, I need your help for uh, something uh, about the the email. In this case, I I need if I if I have to file um, my emails in this case, or um, what uh, what do you mean about if um, if I use in my emails for another uh, documents? Mm. Recommendations. Oh, okay. you, you, I'm sorry to interrupt. You can ask Morena recommendations on how to get rid of your documents from the bank. How to get deshacerte, how to get rid of your documents. And Juan Carlos can advise you to shred it. Okay. So rephrase, rewind and rephrase. Okay. Um, uh, continue. Uh -huh. Morena. Okay. So, Tú pregúntale cómo te puedes deshacer de tu identidad personal. Que él te dé consejos. Y usted le va a dar consejos de cómo eh, pasarlos en la maquinita esa que deja todo finito. Como que estás rayando queso. Go for it. Eh, deshacer. Eh, I can, can I use eliminate or... Yeah. Eliminate. Destroy. Destroy. Yes, ma'am. Ok. Ok, JC. I need... Uh, um, I need some help. Uh, because uh, what do you recommend me uh, for my emails if I need to I need to know about it? Okay, uh, Morena, I recommend to to protect your information, to personal information, to need to destroy any paper, uh, any paper when uh, about the the activity report credit card or report uh, activity account uh, of bank. You need to shred, shred your paper in the in the machine, for example, or or cut in the slice of paper. The cut it cut it into pieces, for example. Cut it cut it into pieces and many many pieces. Uh, your your paper. Uh, in put in the trash or uh, uh, give a, a light or fire, <laughs> for example, <laughs> to burn it, to burn, Bur it. burn it, burn it in the in the in the bowl to put the paper in the bowl. Uh, burning the the old paper uh, when you to receive uh, uh, the report before before to check. The whole activity before checking, checking the before activity, uh, because maybe to chargers it's not uh, it's not paid to you. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. This information is it's really um. It's really nice because I I don't want some people stolen my my information. Okay, uh, my name is JC and um, have a rest day. Have a great Thank day. You, okay, JC. great. You see, awesome, fantastic guys, excellent. So um, thank you very much for your commitment and uh, quick reminders for tomorrow. Please be here tomorrow. I mean, in, you got to be in every class, right? But friendly reminder, we're going to be reviewing previous topics covered. And I am not going to do the test for you. I'm not going to give you the answers, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. Okay, so tomorrow I'm going to explain how to do the midterm. We're going to cover the grammar topics. We're going to go through some vocabulary. So you can have all of the tools to do the midterm this weekend. That way, okay. I can send the score to Insafor because it's going to be required. So, guys, thank you very much for your for your participation. This is Alejandro Narmona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Thank Take you care. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.